I don't know, did you guys get like a briefing when Greg Scott got hired from Code 3 and came here? Did you guys get like a, there was a map. Don't do anything dumb, Myro? So we hired Greg, and that was after I think Echo had acquired Code 3. Um, and since then, good things have happened for us and bad things have happened for Code 3. Um, we now have an Australian subsidiary and are essentially over the next five years going to take that entire market away from them. And we've got Saudi Arabia and UAE and other places there where Code has been disrupted. And now we're hiring the Amber sales team essentially at one of the highest levels within Echo. And Echo's suing these people personally. And I can see them like if we make any misstep, if we say, hey, what was your what was your annual sales number? What was your how many people did you have? Who were your reps? All these types of questions could land us in a lot of trouble. So we're not being named in any suit yet, um, because these people weren't under non-competes, but Echo and Code 3, this is a very personal thing to find out. Um, so anything we do uh, could, could represent a significant liability. So that's all. So just kind of wanted to frame the whole thing. So Echo super pissed. Code 3 also super pissed. We stole some really good people. They're going to help us. We're really happy. Keith, I don't know External if you from the U.S. That, that we could employ. I guess you just have to trust me. I think if if we had to go somewhere else outside the country, like that's not a showstopper.